Oh, I'll just. What's up, guys? Daddy's here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing kind of like the legalities and whether or not you can, you know, sell copyrighted, trademarked, um, you know, replica items. Um, you know, Shopify dropshipping, right? Because as most of you know, if you guys have, you know, browsed AliExpress, taken a look around, um, oftentimes you can find products that look very, very similar to certain goods that exist. Okay. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, there there are very popular name brand products. Uh, for example, like, like luxury goods like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, um, stuff like that. AliExpress suppliers will often list products that almost, you know, are exact replicas or very very similar to um, those 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 kind of goods, right? And obviously, you know, there is a big market for people, you know, buying knockoffs, buying replicas, buying fake items. But um, unfortunately for sellers, right, the the people that get in trouble are the people selling the actual knockoffs and replicas and copyrighted trademarked copyrighted items right so basically right the short answer is no you cannot sell copyrighted stuff um it, but there's nothing really stopping you until you get caught okay so what i'm trying to say is like you guys shouldn't do that because you do run the risk of getting sued and losing everything you've earned and then some attorney's fees everything else like that um everything regarding the lawsuit essentially but basically guys like you you shouldn't be selling copyrighted stuff i do know people who have and they've made you know money doing so um letting guys that you know you run the potential of getting sued it's highly illegal uh, most of the times um just from what i know and from what i've heard from from other people that have sold those kind of items is if they do get caught the you know the the company that has like that owns the actual rights to that product will usually send a cease and desist so a c and d and essentially what that is is it's telling someone hey you did something illegal okay if you don't stop doing this we have the basically the right and the ability and the capability to take you to court and sue you um because you're either you know you're, you're you're taking their own money like gucci for example they invest a lot of money into building their brand like therefore they are the ones that are selling you know their own merchandise um they don't want someone you know some some random store owner piggybacking off of like their own hard-earned like brand that that took millions and millions of dollars to to kind of get to the point where it is right so that's the like the gist of it is like no you, you can't sell you know copyrighted um items legally um i do know again there are people that do this illegally and basically like their mentality right is oh i'll just sell this until i get caught or until they send me a cease and desist and then i'll stop um usually that's that's what happens in most cases um not many times will they actually take you to court again guys this is different for every single one like do not take this as like legal advice because i am not a lawyer but i do um know a bit about you know like about this stuff because i've looked into this before because it is a hot market guys like especially if you're looking at trendy items looking at you know trendy things like for example i don't know if you guys have seen um if you guys like you know our instagram a lot um browsing you know fashion products and whatnot because again my industry like i love fashion selling that kind of stuff but there were you know knockoff like cases that, that were selling selling you know a lot and they were trendy because people you know don't mind necessarily like there's a whole market for buying you know knockoffs and stuff like replicas and everything and there's a market for that right but the supplier is the one that ultimately gets in trouble the seller basically because again guys how it works right is the copyrighted items that you're selling like they're copyrighted under like united states government basically right aliexpress and suppliers are located in china they really don't care nor nor do they even like enforce copyrighted laws so for example if you were selling you know a gucci knockoff case and gucci contacted you with a cease and desist selling you know hey we're gonna sue you because you're doing something illegal um and we have the right to right then um most people like most un like unexperienced store owners will like they'll reply to them and say hey i didn't know that um i was just taking a product off of this website and selling it right but they don't care about that they can't enforce rules in china okay like nor do they have much power there like you like they don't right but you're the one that's taking a product from overseas and selling it to people you know in the united states and that's where you can kind of get get in trouble and that's where they do have basically kind of like a uh, control over 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 you and what, what you're selling essentially so that's again guys like a basically a super short you know like hey you literally just can't um do it legally um again if you are going to if you already do 
be very careful because again it is illegal you can get sued but most of the time guys they will just send you a cease and desist which means you just have to stop because it's illegal um, or they have the right to pursue you in court um, for everything that you've made um, so that that is something to be aware of guys and then just talking about copyrighted stuff anyways i do want to bring up the fact that you know a lot of you guys because you know i preach content like content is king if you have good content you can literally you can convert so much easier um, and you guys will see that in the zero to 1k challenge by the way join the waitlist if you aren't there it's free um but that, that was my plug um but ah oh, shoot where was i um this is what happens guys it is literally 5 uh 5 20 in the morning guys so good morning to you um but oh yeah talking about other copyright stuff right and content and everything um for those of you that you know aren't able to get good content or you know feel like hey, I'm, I'm not good behind a, behind a camera um taking pictures doing whatever and you are using pictures off of google and whatnot um also be careful of that photographers often copyright their images if you know again a photographer can simply reverse image search their image and see what websites are using it and if they do see your website they have you know the right to sue you over that for using their image that they took and you are using without their permission um and again guys what what i've also noticed to be wary of as well is you know the bigger companies like gucci and whatnot like they're so big that usually most of the time like people selling replicas and stuff like don't usually get caught because they're so big but if you are taking you know a photographer's image that necessarily isn't you know doesn't have the biggest brand and isn't as out there if he finds out that you're doing that most of the time these smaller people will try and like pursue you basically like they'll, they'll try and go after you okay so that's something to be aware of guys if you do need to get content um for your site and you don't want to make sure like you want to make sure it's not copyright free again you can always just search up stock images um adobe for example adobe has a great stock image program basically it's, you can browse a bunch of photos that you're allowed to use uh, commercially or you can just simply go and google go to image search search for what you want and then in the filters you can actually do you know an advanced search and basically search only images that are available for commercial use um, which means that you're able to you know sell things um along those images right so that's that guys again this is the kind of video just about copyright in general i guess and just uh be safe out there guys don't do anything illegal um to avoid a cease and desist and uh I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, the link to the 0 to 1K challenge is down below. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.